Hi everyone, welcome to Freezer Burns. As always, I'm your host Greg, the frozen food master, and you're joining me as I eat my way through the freezer aisle one box at a time. And what an amazing journey it's been so far. Today, I'm reviewing this. It is Tony Luke's cheesesteaks. Now, I don't know how familiar you guys are with cheesesteaks. Hopefully, it is, has expanded outside of uh, Steakums, uh, although I do want to do a Steakums review later. But if you're like me and you're from the Philadelphia area, cheesesteaks is a way of life. And nothing speaks cheesesteaks like the South Philly institution of Tony Luke. So when Tony Luke showed up on Twitter and I saw that he was launching a frozen cheesesteak line, I had to contact him. That's the beauty of Twitter. I had to contact him. I had to ask, Tony, do you want to send me something to review? And sure enough, Tony Luke sent me a box of cheesesteaks to try for all of you. Now let's first talk about cheesesteaks, okay? Um, for me, what makes a good cheesesteak is the texture of the, of the steak, the texture of the beef. Does it just fall apart? Is it just like sh thinly shaved? How does the cheese taste? It's not overpowering. How is the bread? The bread, the roll, just has to be top-notch Italian roll. This looks from the box that it's got all the fixings for the type of cheesesteak that I need to get into my belly. So uh, what do you say we get started? Freezer Burns starts right now. Here we go. Once again, today's review is Tony Luke's cheesesteaks. Let's look at the box. See that? Tony Luke's, two cheesesteaks here. Up here, not everyone can be Tony Luke Jr. That's for damn sure. But everyone can make a Tony Luke's cheesesteak. It's black Angus sirloin beef with American cheese and Italian bread. Now, when I contacted Tony, Tony made it very clear to me that I needed to, uh, that I should check out one of his videos. And I'm going to put a link uh, on the bottom uh, here on the site to, uh, for you to take a look at that too. It's detailed instructions of the best way to cook this cheesesteak. Now, here's a couple things to consider. One thing is, yes, uh, you need to, when you have your favorites, you need to be able to know exactly what is the cook time when you're cooking that thing in the microwave that makes the perfect perfect meal and cheesesteaks are no exception. However, if you weren't aware of that video and you were like me and you're kind of catering to the lowest common denominator, you need to check out what the directions are in the box. So I'm hoping to follow this, these directions to a T and we're going to see how these really taste. Now, Tony Luke's cheesesteaks, nutritional facts. There are two servings per container, one sandwich per serving. Amount per serving, 560 calories, 130 calories from fat, 14 grams of total fat, 7 grams saturated fat, 80 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,980 milligrams of sodium. That's a lot, guys. But we're talking cheesesteaks here. 72 grams total carbs, 3 grams dietary fiber, 6 grams sugar, 33 grams protein. I don't know if any of you have ever had a real Philly cheesesteak not one, not a, you know, what people call a steak sandwich or not one at like Subway or, or um, you know, Quiznos and stuff like that. I'm talking about a real Philly cheesesteak in Philadelphia. I have my doubts, guys. I got to tell you that something frozen can reproduce that. However, from what I understand, this might be the one that can finally reproduce a real cheesesteak in the microwave. Let's look at the uh, cooking instructions. First off, there are two ways to cook this. One way is to fire up the oven, put the rolls in the oven, and boil the meat and cheese in a bag in a pot of boiling water. The other way is a microwave, and I don't even need to explain. That's the way we're going for this. Microwave instructions. Remove frozen roll from package, place in a microwave for 20 seconds or until fully heated, let stand while heating the package of steak. Place frozen unopened package of steak, cheese side up, 
do not re remove from package, on a microwave dish, heat on high for two to three minutes or until meat reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Microwave cooking times and temperatures may vary. Let's stand in the microwave two to three minutes. Carefully peel open the package. Meat will be hot. Use tongs or fork, remove from the package, place on the roll, include beef juices for full sandwich flavor. Now, that seems like a lot. It seems actually, you know, it, it's just because it's very verbose. Uh, but it's really not that complicated. And uh, basically, we're not putting the bread in the microwave except to kind of defrost it which makes sense, you don't want it chewy. We want that meat, there's gonna to be tons of juices. I'm gonna sop up all that juice with the meat. None of that's gonna be wasted. Enjoy the great taste of Tony Luke's award-winning signature sandwiches at home made with 100% premium meats and Italian bread rolls just like the famous originals. Okay, let's look at what is inside this box. This box here, Decent size. Look at that bold statement right there. No doubt about it. Cheese steak, Tony Luke's. We're gonna open this up. And it looks like there's a little wafer seal going on here that I just butchered. I'm gonna open this up. We got a bread roll here in the plastic. Then we got two pieces of meat. Let's look at this in greater detail. Now I can't open this because I'm cooking this in the bag. But uh, this is a decent size steak here. I mean, um, basically it looks like one, two, three, four, five pieces of steak. They're kind of like scallops here. And then this is about the size of two of the sliced cheeses that you would buy at your supermarket right on top. As for the roll, Steak is a little wider than the roll, that's good. Um, the roll looks really fresh. Look at that golden brown color on it and in the plastic. So when we come back, I will have gone through this process. I will have compiled the sandwich. And then I'm gonna tell you how it smells. I'm gonna tell you how it tastes. Welcome back. As you can see, I have a fully compiled cheese steak. I don't know how size, uh, seven inches it says, and seven inches is a decent size sandwich. Um, I personally, you know, can eat a ton. Uh, I could probably eat both of these. Uh, I probably, I shouldn't, but I will. Um, these are about seven inches. Now, a couple things I wanna mention during the cooking process. The first thing is, I popped in the bread as directed for about 15 seconds. When it came out, I didn't know what to expect. It, you know, anytime you put anything frozen in the microwave, especially something like bread, it has a tendency to get really, really chewy. I'll tell you right now, this is a soft, fresh roll. It smells amazing. I mean, this smells like a roll that I would get um, from a bakery as if it was cooked the night before or, or a big, you know, the morning of. It is a very, very fresh piece of bread and I'm very impressed by that. The other thing is, as you can see, this is the remnants of the bag that once housed the steak and cheese. The other thing that I liked about it is after I cooked it, um, I was able to you know, let it sit for two to three minutes. This actually inflated when it was cooking. Smells amazing. But what I love about it is it was not hard to peel this back. Um, it's a very nice package, almost the best way to describe it for most of the people that this reference you might get is a DiGiorno's pizza, how it's easy to pull apart the two pieces of plastic. That's what um, is amazing about that bag. The last thing you want is something piping hot inside, steaming on the inside, and you fumbling over it to open it. You burn in your hands, you burn in your arms, not good stuff. I'm glad for that extra piece of detail there. Now, let's look at the sandwich itself, okay? So let me get rid of that plate. Decent amount of steak inside, right? That was just one packet inside. Decent amount of cheese, not overpowering. The When I took a fork and put it on the bread, it just broke apart. I mean, it was like, it became like shaved steak. It's amazing, because I think it was solid as a rock before I stuck it in the microwave. Um, broke apart really nicely. It smells awesome. I can't resist. I need to get this in my belly and tell you how it tastes.
So yeah, it's a decent amount of steak in there. The cheese is good. The bread is phenomenal. Let me, let me say the last thing about the bread and I'm not gonna talk about the bread anymore. This bread is unbelievable. It is a feat of engineering how I can get a soft piece of bread out of this, let's look at the other one, out of a almost frozen solid piece of bread here. Amazing, amazing bread. The steak, Mmm. Just melt in your mouth. Mmm. Really, really good steak. I was able to sop up the juices. Mmm. Every single drop of this steak juice you need in your belly. The cheese is fine, you know, I mean, it's kind of hard to mess up American cheese, but the cheese is adequate. This steak and this bread, this combination, Tony Luke's, pretty darn amazing. Um, man, I, I really can't wait until this shows up in my local grocer. This is Tony Luke's, Tony Luke's cheesesteak. They also make a chicken um, steak as well. This is the Tony Luke's cheesesteak. I'm not sure how much it costs. I'm, I am going to get that price point for you guys and list it in the blog. Not sure how much it costs, but I'll tell you what, if it's anything under 10 bucks, it is worth the money. I paid five bucks for one of these sandwiches. It is that good. Super impressed this came out of the microwave. I give this a four and a half stars. As always, I'm your host, Greg, the frozen food master. This has been another review of Freezer Burns, and I'll see you next time.